So one of the things that uh, when it comes to classroom management uh, that I feel was a little bit unfair. So most of the shelter in place went um, in March started um, while we were actually on spring break. Um, and when we came back, things really didn't change very much for us, but I know it changed for a lot of teachers around the country. Um, and I think one of those things, or one of the major things is um, that our students are kind of trained in um, what we expect of them. Um, so I know my, I have a seventh grader, a fifth grader, and a first grader this past year, and their experiences were all over the place, right? Like one teacher threw out a bunch of links. The first grade team actually did the best because they kind of had like a consistent message across their entire team. Uh, whereas my middle schooler, like she was trying to juggle between like five different teachers telling her five different things. Um, and so um, two big things is one, our students all go through a new student orientation. And I think that's a very important part of the student experience here. Um, and we also standardized uh, the look of our classes across all of our classes. Um, so there's not, um, there's not as much guesswork from the student. Um, we don't, uh, like we put uh, the same kind of tabs on each uh, class um, page. And uh, each teacher also puts out a weekly announcement of what the students work for the upcoming week is. Um, and this is from Artie's Algebra 2 class. Um, and so you can see at a glance very quickly what, as a student, what you're expected to do the following week. Um, and we all put this out across all the classes um, by Friday of the week prior. And so it's easier for our students to uh, figure out how they're gonna spend their time, right? Especially there's weeks where we have a lot of exams and projects due. And so it's really important for the students to have this at their disposal. Um, I think that's it for this. Um, things that we use here at, at Davidson Academy Online, um, we use Blackboard um, and really like the Blackboard, I'm gonna steal Stacy's uh, terminology here, but it's really a manifestation of the physical classroom. And really our Blackboard is almost like a manifestation of the physical school because they land in one spot and they can go to all of their classes, right? And what they get in that classroom is um, the material, their assignments, um, grading feedback, um, and they get really, uh, it's really easy to manage from the student's perspective. Um, we use PowerSchool to uh, keep track of our official records. Um, we use Google Apps. And I think a very important um, aspect of communication with our students and the team and the, and the faculty is that we uh, incorporate Microsoft Teams um, into all the classes. Um, and so this is a screenshot of my uh, Microsoft Teams. And you can see how um, each of the classes um, and different staff teams um, have their own team. And you'll notice at the bottom here, I have a joint geometry team. And uh, what that is, is I had two different geometry classes last year and the joint geometry team was a blend of both classes. Um, and I thought that was really important because within that team, you can set up a channel where they, uh, there's a homework help channel in there and there's a study session channel in there. And so if students have questions, they have a few different options, right? They could either email me um, and set up a time where they could meet me for office hours. Um, but actually most of the students, what they'll do is just message, um, they'll tag the joint geometry team and post a question, right? And say, this is how far I got on problem seven on page 85, right? And you know, if I'm available, I'll jump in. Uh, if the other students are available, they'll jump in as well. Um, so it's a really good way for them to access information or, or assistance uh, very immediately. Um, and then the study sessions uh, are a good way for them to learn uh, with each other. Um, it's not monitored by any faculty, um, but you know, they can uh, study for tests, they can do homework together if they want to. 
Um, and they do a really good job of managing that. And so all these tools that we use is to uh, simulate the idea of a synchronous uh, classroom that you get at a real um, school. Um, and again, uh, we use these certain tools, but there are also free tools that you are able to use. Uh, different LMSs as, such as Edmodo, Google Classroom. Um, I know everyone has a different records. Um, Microsoft Teams, there's other free versions such as Discord or Slack that you're able to use. And each one simulates a different part of school. The Microsoft Teams simulates the discussion between uh, team meetings, uh, hallways, uh, as, it get, uh, used, uh, as Albert stated, uh, study sessions, everything from there. So we try to find different things that a synchronous brick and mortar school um, offers and, and, and simulate it to an online version. So there's an easier transition which just uh, with, with a platform.